You, Kurt Hennig, you were the only man that put me out of professional wrestling, and a lot of guys did hurt me, but you're the first man that ever did it. And I'm asking you people to please listen to this, and I'm telling the truth, and I swear on my mom right here in Don Owens, I want you to please hear this. Kurt Hennig, I want to ask you if you'll please accept me to come with you and form a tag team and go against anybody we... and go against anybody we can put our hands on. And Don Owens, I'm asking with you as my witness here and as Savage as my witness, I'm putting my hand out to you and if you'll please accept my hand, I can tell you right now we can go a long way and I'm promising the people I'm not going back on my word. Yeah. I love it, I love it. Hey, he's heard me, I've heard him. You come on our side, you can be nothing but an asset, in my opinion. And I don't know what Billy Jack has to say about it. I have something to say to Billy Jack. Excuse me, I'm sorry, okay? Billy Jack, I want to say something special to you. You came up to me about a year ago and said, I want to get into wrestling, and I spit on this guy right back here. And I said he'd never make it. I said he was a quitter. And the guy never quit, and he kept coming and coming, and he hurt me in five seconds at Christmas right here in Portland. And any man that can do that, and... You've dedicated your life to wrestling the last year, and I know you've had a lot of setbacks in the family. I know you've had a lot of problems, and you've not let it stop you. And I just want to put my hand out to you, and I want you to please accept me as a partner. And I think we can all three of us can get the plan and end this once and for all. Let me say something. I don't know. Okay, first of all, you know, you did, you spit in my face back here. You probably thought I was some dumb punk quitter like the Mike Poppish that was here. No, that's not me. I'm a Portland boy, and I prove it to everybody. And I'm going to tell you something, buddy. You saved me from getting my fingers broke out there. You saved me from getting my fingers broke. I want everybody to hear this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you saved me from getting my fingers broke tonight. One good turn. You said you swore on your mother. That's a pretty heavy statement to me because my mother's dead and I got a tattoo of her because I love her very much. You it. bet I'll join you all the way, yeah, baby. We're going to kick some butt. All three of us. Don uh, Owens. Uh, yeah. Don. Hey. One more thing. One more thing. Wait, one more thing, please. Don Owens. I'm going to, last eight years, you and I haven't got along on the teleporter or in that office at all. We've had a lot of run-ins with our mouths and about money, and I did uh, get on your nerves quite a bit. That's the best way I can put it mildly, but I'd like to tell you, if I got these two as my partners and you just saw it, if you could work it out, let's try to get a six-man tag with the clan right as soon as possible. Okay. It's, if I can line it up, I'll do my best to do it. I'd like to see it myself. He said he'd do his best, Doug Savage, to get the match. We'll find out later on. I'm sorry what I've done to you. I'm sorry what I've done to you. I'm sorry what I've done to you. But I'm not going to be sorry what I do to you, Rip Oliver. He's not going to be sorry. I'm not changing my style, but I'm just changing the other side of the fence where the grass is greener and these guys have got the green grass and you got the old grass and we're just going to come over that fence and we're going to stop you guys once and for all. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, the arena, the viewing audience, it took seven years for this to happen. All I can say is, Don, why didn't it happen sooner? Back to you. This place is going to explode, ladies and gentlemen. A six-man tag team. There's three of them in there right now. Don Owens is going to come up here and tell you all about it. Look at this. Playboy Buddy Rose is taking off after Rip Oliver. Oh, he definitely has a score to settle. This place is, they're on their feet. They are on their feet. Rip Oliver and his clan objected to this bout being on television. And the only reason it is 
because there is a complete sellout this evening and our good sponsor Tom Peterson and Tonkin's Automobile Company have requested that this bout be televised and that is the only reason. This bout will be a three-sided team match. The best two out of three falls are to a TV time limit. He's going to be able to make the introduction. This place is going bananas. That'll be pretty wild. Introducing. My boy, it's going to be wild. Introducing the team and this. The team in this corner, the team of the Dynamite Kid, Rip Oliver and the Assassins. Their opponents in this corner, the team of Kurt Henning, Billy Jack, and Buddy Rose. Buddy Rose is going out into the Ladies crowd. And gentlemen, Team Championship against Rip Oliver, Tuesday night. I don't know. Playboy Buddy Rose went out into the crowd. Oh, here he comes back with another banner. Another placard. <laughs> 